like boobies. You like boobies. Vicky likes boobies. You're tacky and I hate you. Now, are there any damn questions? Have you any idea what the street value of this mountain is? nice fish you know big fucking eyes but a nice fucking fish good evening bottom feeders and underachievers we're down a man so we can't do our normal format for the weekend uh so what we're gonna do is we've watched so much crap in the last week combined that we're just gonna do a show about all the crap we've been watching some of it might be controversial. I watched the That's live right. action Little Mermaid. That was the thing. We'll get into in a few minutes. I am your host, Justin, as always, joined by Mike. Ben. <laughs> Joe. Uh. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Born to be kings. Let's Before get the. Watch. Let's get Before the Before we get into it, may I ask you a question? Huh. 2009, yeah. there was a movie. I almost watched it, but I, I, I went a different route because it was 10 minutes shorter. That's how I justified it in my mind because I was tired. Uh, it was called Mutant Chronicles, I think, with Ron Perlman, Thomas Jane, and everyone's favorite, Johnny Malkovich, and that Asian chick from Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah. Nakuki or something like that? I don't know her name. Have you guys seen it? Is it worth a watch? Not watched it. Not even not watched it. It's no. on Hulu. It kind of gives me like Snyder type CGI optics. I mean, it was 09. Yeah. And it probably didn't have a huge budget because I've never heard of it. And uh, well, one thing that I really, because it was a very 80s quote, but in the trailer, he, Thomas Jane's like, you know, just doing the hero thing. I'm like, that's catchy. I mean, it's a fun. Gone. It's a fun cast. Yeah. It's different. Oh wow! 28th century soldier Mitch Hunter needs a fight against an army of underworld mutants. <laughs> Mitch Hunter. Oh, Devin Aoki was her. Yeah, name. she was in uh, Sin City. There it is. Yes, there she is. was yep. Deadly Little Miho. She's actually Stephen Aoki's sister. Okay. Yeah. I like Mitch Hunter better than I like Mike Tobacco. Mm. Oh, which Alfred did it? Sean Pertwee. Yeah, Sean Pertwee. What's Mike Tobacco? Someone running for a position in his town. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, Mike Tobacco was a character. What was? He's in something we're going to talk about, right? He's the main character in Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That's right. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it. We've already yeah. gone down that road more than once. Dude, Mitch Hunter, though, I imagine sitting in the writing room and they go, what should the main character's name be? He's got to have a tough name. Like a warrior, sporting, hunter. <laughs> this guy is a real Mitch. bitch. This guy's a real Say bitch what? hunter. You know? He's a real bitch hunter. He's all about the bitches. But we can't call him yeah. a bitch hunter. I mean, is there anything close to that? Anything vaguely similar? Like, can we just change one letter? Oh, well, actually, the characters of Mitch Hunter and Max Steiner were previously playable in the video game Doom Troopers for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Interesting. I, uh, I will say this. Yep. <clears throat> As a writer, it is probably my least favorite thing. Naming fucking characters. I, I, I love hate it. coming up with names. I love it. I, you get so it. silly. When I, it, uh, I always throw a placeholder name in there and then like later on I'd be like I actually kind of like that. Because you kind of keep writing it over and over and it kind of fits. You know I think this movie probably sucks? Uh, Ron Perlman's not wearing any prosthetics. That's rude. It's just Ron Perlman. Malkovich hey. shot his role in two days. <clears throat> he was Ron Perlman in uh, Pacific Rim. Kinda. I mean, he was Ron Perlman if Ron Perlman was a pimp. Ron Perlman is a pimp. 
No, Rob Perlman is very pimp. He doesn't smack them hoes. He's a decent man. I don't know if he's God fearing, but he's decent. I'm, I'm probably gonna get a little little tuned up, but I'm gonna watch it Friday. <clears throat> I might I might have to dive into it myself now. Well, it just looks you, like a good dub, you know. Yeah. It's your hour and fifty one minutes to spend. Spend it as you will. That's yeah. not terrible. Unless the movie's terrible, because yeah. we just watched an eighty five minute movie over the weekend that we've seen before, and it felt interminable. Yeah, but I knew it felt like four hours going into it. What movie? <clears throat> For the uh, Halloween episode of Exposing James that'll be out the week that I'm on vacation. Killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we were dangling that carrot in front of him for a while. And he wanted to see it. We warned him. And much like when you showed him Chucky, didn't turn out the way everybody hoped well it kind of turned out the way we expected no no he 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 was like no this is terrible it's definitely a movie it's terrible in all the right ways though in a lot of the right ways in some right ways we're about 25 minutes in and james hits the the remote to bring up to bring up the timestamp. And sees that we're only 25 minutes in. I was like, oh yeah, but don't worry. It, it feels like another three fucking hours. <laughs> and he's like, I, I seriously thought we were halfway done with this. And I was like, hm, no. Uh, it's that bad, huh? We haven't taught him the act structure well enough yet. Because he should have known that it was still way too early, too early in the movie. Like, not enough characters have died. It's only like a third of the way in. If we're doing our job properly. It's... <sighs> It's basically where all the space mutant jokes from The Simpsons came from. Uh, they are part of Kang and K- Kodo? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Except silent. All they really no. do is maybe say a word. No, no. Remember like early episodes of The Simpsons where they watched space mutant, the Space Mutant movies? No. Or that was their horror movies, like Space Mutant 4 or something like that, and 3 did... That's what I've been, I've been watching a lot of Simpsons. Listen, <laughs> for my early Simpsons. With a budget, it, the premise is not bad. Would well, you say it was like one point eight million dollars? So they're, I'm saying, well, if they had a bigger budget, it, I think the concept of the movie could be incredible. The budget was two, two and they made forty eight. That's a hit. That's a hit. It's a mess. <laughs> that's no doubt. That's. That's a win for producers. Yeah. When you throw Killer Clowns into IMDb, it's the sixth movie? Yeah. I, was, I thought you said it. I thought you were going to say it cries. It's not exactly happy with me. It does have those annoying Here important characters, though. Like most of them. Legit, like, 45-year-olds playing, I'm assuming, what's supposed to be 20-somethings. Yeah, I'm thinking early 20s. They're supposed to kind of be college students, because they're definitely not high school. No. What year did this come out? Oh, fucking 80-something. 80 88, like prime 80s territory. This is when the 80s was full 80s. Interesting. Mm-hmm. There's only really two actors or two performers in it that I remember from anything. The the blonde lead, who is one of the, the girlfriends in Weird Science. Yeah. And the douchey cop, who was the dean in Animal House. Everybody. Oh, so Christopher Titus is in there for a minute and a half, and <laughs> and the old farmer dude, because he I plays almost he almost plays the same exact character in Critters. <laughs> Essentially played him. <clears throat> Core right. motion thrust is the same. So yeah, uh, that's not all we watched recently. Let's get into Ahsoka because I Ooh. think three of us are all caught up, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think Vinny's been watching. Have you? 
No. Nope. Uh, <clears throat> so they did some shit in the last episode, eh? Uh, I've been reading a lot of, uh, yeah. people are excited about whatever, whatever happened. Yeah. Well, it ended on a, can't say a cliffhanger, because it wasn't really like, oh no, what are they going to do? But they ad- ended on a moment that was tantalizing. Uh, that's the start at the end. Well, pretty sure Merrick, or Amarok, or whatever the fuck the black helmeted guy. Amarok? Yeah. Eric Garland. He he does not seem to be uh, very important. He's so definitely not Star Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right in, in quoting that Filoni's like this thing's not over? He's not completely dead. You never know. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm not dead. <laughs> Shut up, yes, up. <laughs> Bring out your Merrick. <laughs> I feel happy. Uh yeah, he's pretty. He seemed pretty dead to me. Mm. He got snapped. <laughs> Yeah. I was super happy, super de duper happy when it ha- when it went down, because the internet was falling all over itself to try and figure out what important character was under that hood. Yeah, and turns out probably nobody. <laughs> nope. Toil away, nerds. Doesn't matter. Good, good play on their end. Yeah. Can we bring back the word dweeb? I've been seeing dweeb a lot lately. I mean, I think no I will. Anymore, I, I will. Dweeb hits harder than nerd because nerd people like own that moniker now. Can call it dweeb. See, I, I am very particular about the definitions of insults. Like geek, I don't think geek applies to us, especially after watching Nightmare Alley. Geek is someone who will do anything for attention. Yo, Nightmare Alley, is some shit. Yeah. Uh, Joe's. Oh, you're a geek. That's right, right there. Oh, you're here. I, uh, <clears throat> I will participate in the bringing back of dweeb. As long as you participate with me in the bringing back of Wizard. No, I'm fucking not supporting this at all. <laughs> as a positive. As like, yeah, it's I'm like... Gonna say, he's going to say it for It's me. like awesome or fantastic or... Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm like a wizard with the ladies. No, even no, that no, is no. kind of like, acceptable. The, yeah. the way he uses it pisses me off episode one style. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you take a really good poo... And you're like, oh, that was a wizard. That's a pig wizard. Okay. Uh, uh, it was really good. Yeah. Or like, the salad I just ate for dinner was totally wizard. See, I'd like to bring back the 80s. You know, adjectives, tubular, radical. Basically, all the star road, the special star road names, we should bring them back. I'll bring back turtle lines any day of the week. If I hear someone say wizard, I lose 5% of respect for them. Every time they do it. <laughs> It's not like, oh, you used it once, you're down 5%. No. Every time it comes out of a person's mouth, and yes, you can go into negatives. It is a possibility. I want yeah. I want us to put it on a t-shirt. I will never, ever <laughs> type those words into my iPad. Even like, you know what, from now on, they're all sorcerers. <laughs> well, it's our stance on this. It's, dare I say, wizardly. Uh... I was a stretch, but no. Can we say that? We can. Yeah, we say that. I don't. I don't mind you adding the L Y. Because I think you use it in a proper term. So, like, <laughs> word usage there was all right. Sweet. Well, like, it's someone with powers who is body armor, you. peach mango, totally wizard. Oh, okay, cool. But uh, yeah, so Ahsoka. You guys ever do this? Luminous. Luminous. It's supposed to work. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hold it down long enough? You're making me look like a fool. Luminous. That's not happening. Still nothing. A light. Yeah. Zero light. Uh, uh, anyway, that's not what you're at all, is it? Not even a little bit good. No, not well, just be the ring at me. We're, we're not getting. We're, we're uh, not engaged. I, I can understand where, what Sabine did. It's messed up. It goes against everything Ezra would want, but she's obsessed. Yeah. And it moves the story forward, so yeah. The lightsaber scene, <clears throat> the, the the fight scenes were fucking amazing. Great Skid? dual fight. Yeah. 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 Uh, does anybody else want their kid to die? Jason? No. Yeah. <laughs> No. no, just me. So it's no bad, like, you, right. I know no. you, want, you want an entire bus full of them so you can shoot them up. That's what you want. Okay. Call back, folks. Call back. So, 
He just okay. I'm, he yeah. he young Anakin annoys me right now. That kid. Yeah. He's done but, nothing. He's because I because you know why? Because when I look at him, I see something insidious, and I think he's just gonna he's gonna turn on all of them somehow. Like so, I don't know, man. I just I got a feeling. I think you're feeling your balls right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> What um, which is your young Anakin? Yeah, no, yeah, no, he's not yeah, he's not whiny. No, he's chill. He hasn't said he hated sand. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't used the W word either, so he's cool in my book. Jar Jar against me. <laughs> you did that yourself. Nice. Right. You want to take it away? I'm um. So we have left of Kanan, man. I love that kid. I love the little bastard. I wouldn't harm a hair on his goddamn head. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> um, I'm kind of. I kind of thought like this season was gonna end with them finally making the jump to hyper hyperspace. I didn't expect that to happen so soon. It's almost no. over, though, isn't it? Yeah. We got one episode left that's going to be part back and forth between Anakin and Ahsoka, and part them getting into the unknown world and Sabine finally getting to see Ezra again. Then the sixth episode is where the big swerbies have to happen. Oh, yeah. A lot of deep dicking. Yeah. Someone's getting deep dicked. They said, because this episode's also released in theaters. Oh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be important. Um, it better be Anakin. Long, too. I'm not paying fucking ticket price to go see a 50 minute. 50, it's 59 minutes or something like that. It's it's not an hour, but oh wait, short or something in front of that. I mean, it's the, better. Um, it's better than like the 34 minutes. Oh yeah, getting. that one that was just basically the chase and then yeah. it's over. The end. I've had no problem with the lengths of them. I, I love that <clears> one where they were training. I could have taken more of that, but. I'm not, like, I don't have a problem with it because it does make it easy to watch on top of the other shows we're watching. But, like, um, we're getting to the the meaty bits of the story. Mm-hmm. We're going to need a little bit more time. Yeah. So, Anakin didn't have his Anakin lightsaber, if everybody noticed that. <clears throat> oh, you're picking nits now? You're right I, will, I will totally pick nits on that one. Is it, he like, more black than silver? It is, is more silver. black than silver. It is more vader Oh, maybe that's just visual symbolization. Yes, symbolization. Visual symbology that no matter how redeemed he was, he will always have a part of Vader in him. Yeah. That would have been the saber that he was bar- burned with, right? Yes. And is you referring to an elf on the shelf as opposed to an Easter egg? Because I don't like Easter eggs. The real ones? On the shelf, they specifically place it right. You so love Easter like, eggs. Oh, Easter eggs. Yeah, I don't. I would hope this was specifically placed because when he died, he was he was Vader when he died. It wasn't like, you know, Force Ghost. Yeah, but he was dressed in different sex bondage clothing that he showed up in. Mm-hmm. Black man. In his death outfit. He was, he was in the old uh, Jedi Browns. Yeah. Yeah. They younged him up better in this one. They didn't have as far to go. Yeah. No, it, it didn't look bad. You could, it... it it looked static. better than the Flash. I just dropped something in the toilet that looked better than the Flash. Actually, I saw. I just saw something that looked worse than the Flash. Mutant Chronicle? No, no. It's a trailer. That, it's a teaser for a trailer that's supposed to drop on Friday. I, oh, that, I, I disagree with you. You don't think that Nicole Kidman looks worse than the Flash? No. Her, her CGI looked terrible. No. They de-aged her again for no reason? That's Nicole true. Kidman? She looked weird. Oh, well, she looks like that. That's not CGI. Yeah, that's her face. No, that the she was green. No, that's she was dude. definitely CGI. Listen, dude, because I'm she has like yeah, jaundice, dead babies in her face. Yeah, <clears throat> she is starting to look like RoboCop with the helmet off. She's she's one stem cell away from running around Hollywood, going, yeah. "I'll get you, Hackman." Yeah, dude, the LA seen whatever they're doing to everyone's face like it's the upper lip is just like yeah it's bad you always have stink face on and you just don't look it's like you don't look the same i can't look at certain people yeah. anymore it's true yeah, like they're permanently ready to complain to the waiter 
Yeah. 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 It's yeah. okay. I'm happy. But anyway, yeah. Happy, so I'm, happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. hammered shit. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> how do we want to handle this? Everybody going to go through whatever okay. they've been watching one at a time? We want to go around the horn. I have a question. Okay. Question time. Uh, could I say one thing that I've been watching that it just go around the tiptoe no. of the thing no, that I've you, been watching? You, you were banned. <laughs> Not even for info. Um, actually, I, I'll speak for you, Joe. So Joe is watching <laughs> and, <it's> just, <laughs> and then you know, had a, had a bunch of storylines and plots, and it ended up like <laughs> that was a sad ending. That's pretty accurate, though. Ooh, it's a had a trail on it. Yeah. Did I did I get it all, Joe? And good. But Next. uh, Joe, Joe, what else have you been watching? We'll start with you. Um, I've been on an '80s kick, so I've been uh. I found myself watching National Lampoon's Vacation, the first one, the very first one. That is a dirty movie. Oh, yeah. There's some some titties up in there. There's titties, like, the amount of time, like, the the last time I remember watching it, it was when it was, like, on TV, so it was very cut. Is that that the Wally World one? Yeah, Yeah, the very first one of how many times they say fuck in that movie. Do they? I don't remember it being oh. that vulgar. It's well, vulgar. When they go to uh, St. Louis, the bro, bro, bro said, hey, excuse me, yo, man, fuck your mama. Thank you very that much. Great, I totally forgot that line. I used to use that all the time. <laughs> but how, and Harold Ramis, we were talking about him earlier. You know, with Stripes. That was uh, the first movie he directed. Pretty sure it's the first movie. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because he went from that to Caddyshack, which was another thing I just watched, because 80s kick, because why not? Classic. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield. I got to say, every, he kills me every time. I, and I read a fun fact about Rodney make, with that movie. He was so nervous making that movie, so Harold would like tell him action, and he would just sit there. And... <laughs> Roddy, he wouldn't know what to do. And then Harold had to, like, coax him and say, Roddy, do your bit. Because Roddy would improvise everything. That would set him loose. I heard one of the things was he was getting thrown off by the fact that nobody was laughing at his jokes because he's a stage comedian and he's used to getting a reaction. So when half of the people there were just staying in character, it was throwing him off. So he had to get it back in his head like, no, it's funny. It's working. But not everybody. Uh, these are professionals. They they can't just be laughing at you constantly. Caddyshack came out three years before Vacation. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So Caddyshack was his first one. Oh, he didn't direct a lot. No, no, he didn't. Club Paradise three years after Vacation. Groundhog Day nine years later. Yeah. Stewart saves his family. You're a crazy person. <laughs> uh, he started doing a lot more later in his career. Multiplicity. Yeah. Excellent. Great movie. Analyze this. <clears throat> be dazzled. Fucking love be dazzled. Fucking underrated movie. Yeah. Brendan <clears throat> Fraser. Yes. Uh-huh. Did four episodes of The Office. Mm, really? Mm. And year one. Well. Yeah. That movie is. Oh, bad. year one. No, it's bad. Yeah. No, it was good. No. Nope. Uh, it, it was some funny moments, but overall, it's just like, huh? R.I.P. Harold Ramis. R.I.P. Okay, is that all you've watched lately? I can't say the other stuff I've been watching. That's unfortunate, Joe. Because mm-hmm. I've been watching a lot of that. How freaking dare you? No <laughs> one said he couldn't watch it. Yeah, he's allowed to watch it, he just can't talk about it. He's not yeah. bu- boiling over like a fucking bubbling cauldron. Then. Mm-hmm. So, I text you guys about it throughout They Live. Bro? Finally watched it. Yeah. Such a good movie. Right. Holds up. Yeah. Holds up a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. Now. Not about the effects. It's about the story. Well, the effects kind of hold up because they didn't try to do too much. Mm. They're very they kind of kept it mystique yet. Sums up, and most of the time in there, 
when there's an effect going on, it's in black and white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's much more forgiving. There's only really color effects at the end. Mm-hmm. That little yeah. sequence at the end when everything goes down. Yeah. Now, okay. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to ask, it's got to come up naturally from you too. Is it or is it not the greatest fight scene <clears throat> in cinematic history? Dude. I'll say this. It gives me remnants of uh, Peter Griffin versus the chicken. <laughs> that's, that's where they, they snagged that from. Yeah. This, that yeah. was just like... You keep thinking it's going to end. Three times. You think it's over three times. And then it starts up and gets more intense. Crippled and then, like, I had the to movies. Now we're best friends. <laughs> The, the, the South Park did the shot for shot between uh, Timmy and Jimmy. Timmy and Jimmy, yeah. Cripple shot fight. for Cripple shot. Fight. Cripple fight is the uh, five minutes of that that fight. Uh-huh. That, that game, game, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Not I would say that. this too. The most unrealistic part of the movie is how Roddy Piper kept going out of his way for that lady. I gotta go find Gina. What, I forget her name already. We gotta go find Gina. Where is she? I gotta go get her. Dude, she fucking almost killed you. Well, he did kidnap her. Kinda. Totally he had did. to. Totally did. Well, he, he felt the... Yeah, he had to get away, but let's say someone kidnaps you, and like, trust me, I have to do this. How do you yeah. Know that? Well, I mean, <clears throat> here's the thing. There's two layers to that. Because obviously kidnapping's not good. But then she smacks you upside the head, sends you down a giant hill a la Chris Farley Black Sheep, and you just go you go take a nap underneath someone's house. And I I I just don't understand the whole like I gotta fly Marjorie. Dude, look at her fucking eyes. They're hypnotic. She was evil. And her too, she's like, oh, you're right. You're right. I love you so much. I love you. Uh, biggest backstab in film history? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. But I was saying, you, you guys don't really agree, it seems. I think if they made a six-part miniseries, expanded, and or new movie trilogy, you could totally expand with that. I feel like you're playing with fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one that you just... Is, you shouldn't touch it. We or learned a variation the, of it. We oh, learned man. from the Thing prequel. They did do a variation of it. It was called V. Uh, and then really? they made that. Yeah. V was yeah, listening give, <clears throat> give it to Chris Nolan. Even though I don't know if he does remakes. Uh, you know what? After the movie I watched recently, the only person I will accept to do a They Live remake is Jordan Peele. Yeah. 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 He could do it. And the name's perfect for him. Him or Nolan. And that's all I can think of right now. I can tell you what else I watched. You guys will be happy I watched it. Mm -hmm. Super Mario Bros. Yay! That's what I watched instead of uh, Mutant Chronicles. Because you got the cock, right? You signed up for the cock? Well, I... I, uh... Yeah, I bullied Megan into... To watch They Live, I bullied her into No Ads Peacock. Because I was like, listen, we're not going to live like poor people and watch fucking commercials. So... Shit. So, I... My biggest glaring issue is Super Mario Brothers. He doesn't like mushrooms. He's the Mushroom King. He's not the Mushroom King. He's the Mushroom King. Dude, it's the Popeye the movie thing where he doesn't want to eat his spinach. And yeah. In the end. I haven't even seen it and I know what the story arc is. Like, no, get it away from me, get it away from me. Oh, I need to do it to win? Hey, they're not that bad. It's just... And he's Italian. Yeah. What? I'm Italian. I don't like mushrooms. Yeah, Joe fucking hates mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, you're not king of the mushrooms. But how is he's never been called king of the mushrooms? No, no, the he just to- 
he eats. Peach's father was the Mushroom King. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, he's the Mushroom King. Mario is the king of the mushrooms. He's he's not, though. He just takes them to get unusually large. And in the upcoming Super Mario Brothers Wonder, apparently they actually trip out. So. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty positive I put the trailer up in the group. That's the. Yeah, it gets fucking weird. Oh, I gotta watch it. Well, after they made a movie where he steals people's bodies, I mean, they had a game where he steals characters' bodies by putting a fucking hat on them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they don't care about what they're doing anymore. They don't care about what people think about what they're doing anymore. <clears throat> no. They're like, yeah, they're mushrooms. Of course he's gonna get some tainted ones. Shit gets stretchy, all fucking vibrant in the background. Crazy. Because they could be doing like the mushrooms from Lost Levels where the poison mushrooms, will they, they fuck you up. Yeah. Fucked up. Fuck that game. Fuck that game. I'm, I don't like it. Oh, it was a good movie though, right? It was fine. Fucking I'll probably never up. watch it again, but it was fine. It was good for what it was. Nobody uh, died. So I don't care. The girl's name from They Live with Holly. Those are some fucking weird movies, by the way. I was close. Oh, yeah. She was in a movie with Don the Dragon Wilson. I don't remember much about it. It was done on, like, one set. They kept filming from different angles. <laughs> it was actually a movie. They're there on the road, so it was... You could tell. You could tell. Not exactly the best. All right. How many things have you watched, Michael? Oh, quite a few. We're going to have some overlap. So let me just get mine out of the way that I've seen alone, and then we'll touch on some of the overlap. Okay. I finished the season What We Do in the Shadows whilst I was away on my mini vacation, and I still love that <clears> show. <throat> I'd advise, even if you haven't seen the movie, it's on Hulu. Check it out. Because it's another one of those shows that it's got kind of a Breaking Bad thing to it in that one of the characters is constantly ducking and dodging, getting in trouble about something every season. And they manage to fix it at the end of the season in a pseudo believable way. I mean, it's fantasy. It's fucking vampires and wizards. And sh- no, I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Sorcerers, necromancers. You said wizard. I used it properly. I used it as the word is intended. Uh, wait until I cut Sparkle Dust promo. Oh, sweet mercy! <sighs> yeah, I advise everybody to check out what we do in the shadows. Vulgar sexual funny and also poignant at times really great supporting cast I doug don't. jones who i have a sign I have a signature from he's great <clears throat> uh i i never got into the movie so i think that's why the show doesn't do anything for me i still haven't seen the movie maybe that's why it works for you hmm. i've heard it's funny the trailer looked hilarious i watched i, watch I, watch, it, I watched anything. like 35 minutes of it and i was just like man Uh, <clears throat> see, uh, just finished watching the finale of the Venture Brothers saga, which is now available on Max. Still feel stupid saying that fucking name. And Radiant is the blood of the baboon heart. They they do explain what the fuck that title means by the end of it. I didn't think they'd get around to it, but it's it's a good, it's a funny episode or extended episode. It's a funny movie. Everyone gets a really good moment. The story itself isn't convoluted, but it's detailed. And they manage to give resolution to pretty much everything that's gone on in the show. All the major questions. That's impressive, but I feel like there's a but. Um, it's not as funny as I hoped it would be. There are a lot of stuff in the shows. And every episode had me like laugh out loud two or three times. Whereas this, I only got like one or two throughout the entire show. Because I feel like they were... The entire movie. I feel like they were just trying to wrap everything up so much they weren't as worried about the funny as they worried about the plot. Not that it's a bad thing. Like if you've ever been into the show, you'll just be happy to get some kind of resolution. Okay. It's just as twisty and crazy as you expect from them. And seeing every one of Hank's alter identities working kind of together. Is there a Hank's disleague? He's he really lost it. He <laughs> fucking he flipped his wig. So the only good. way to survive is for uh, Russian Gajovich and <laughs> the bat. And I, was, I don't remember 
the name of his detective character, but he's there too. So good. And I think it was Rodrigo. Yes. You are not Hank. Yeah. Yeah, that character. They all try to help him along the way. I love it. I'm going to miss it. It's unfortunate that it's ended, but it did end well. So can't complain too, too, too much. Finally watched Get Out. Finally. I am super ashamed of myself that I didn't get around to watching this before I had it spoiled. Yeah. But even knowing what's going on in it, it made the viewing experience interesting because I didn't have everything completely spoiled down to the last detail. So there was shit that came at me at, you know, what exactly was going on had been alluded to. I didn't know what the big plot swerve thing, what was so fucked up about this group and this family. And just the way he makes movies where people do normal enough things in creepy ways. It's hard. The entire party sequence where he's meeting all those people Dude. is the most cringe sequence I've ever seen. Because I could, I could picture dumbass white people saying this shit to the only black dude around. Oh, yeah. But when you find out later why they're saying this shit, it's not just that they're uncomfortable around him. Like, they're, they're poking him for answers that, that are important to them about him. Yeah. Extra super fucked up. And even knowing what his girlfriend was involved in, like right. her role in the whole deal. Dude. When that swerve happens. I, ne- I did not see that shit coming. She plays it so well. She, yeah. She is the second most interesting thing in the movie after Kalua's performance. Yeah. That first hypnotism scene where, like, he rolls tears on command, like, as she's saying things, they're dropping, or as he's saying things, too. He, he fucking, he knocked it out of the park. And yeah. he's so subdued through most of the movie just to try and get through this weirdness. And then when the key scene happens and he starts to just unravel. Yep. And the ending. I'm so happy the ending, the last five minutes wasn't ruined for me. Because you have that feeling like, oh shit, he went through all this and he's about to get fucking popped. Yeah, right. And then the door opens up and you're like, oh, salvation! My dude! Uh, I think this is uh, Lil Rel's second best performance. Yeah. Because he gets a little more time in Free Guy. Yeah. It's way better than that Uncle fucking whatever movie that he starred in. The one where they had all the players in old makeup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle Drew, Uncle Drew. That I I saw that shit in the theater. That was not a good time I had. I I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. I might down the road just to pick up on things, but yeah, like it's it's not as good as Nope to me because I knew so much going into it. But I think it's better than Us even though Us was a really creepy time I had. <clears throat> it's like the whole idea of the tethered. Like yeah. That's that's what this is about. All right, man. That's fucking. I, that's a messed up idea, and I'll run with it. But it's, I it's do. Not, not your best moment. I do like it better than us. We were this close to watching Nope today, <clears throat> but something else popped up, and we're like, oh yeah, we've been meaning to watch that for like four years. Yeah. Truly <clears throat> recommend both that and Nope. And uh, am I the only one who's seen Spider Verse? Did you guys get around to it? We did not get around to it. No, I didn't watch it yet. Spunked it as much. But it's not the first time I saw it, so we can just save that for later when everyone else has seen more of it. I, I went over my review when the movie came out in the theater, and that wasn't too far ago. So Did we plan on watching it on, like, Friday or Saturday? Okay. What did it drop on? My, I bought the tips. My, uh, he okay. left us the, a copy. Yeah. All right, so my turn? I almost bought it early. They, put it, they broke street date while I was in... Uh, West Virginia at Walmart. Oh, really? But they didn't have a 4K copy. Wow. And I got this nice, pretty TV. I don't do Blu-ray alone. So the one thing that we have overlap on, mm-hmm. as soon as it dropped on the Plus, I spent the 25 minutes and watched every episode of season two of I Am Groot, and it remains adorable. So it's good. One of the most fun little characters ever. I, uh... I... I have favorite episodes in both seasons. Like the fucking ice cream truck episode in this season, though. <clears throat> hits hits home because I remember, like, sc- 
grounding for change anywhere in the house to run out and hit the ice cream truck. Then Groot commits grand theft spaceship and I really want a Howard the Duck ice cream cone. Yeah, there's so many options they should put into this, the park. It'd yeah. be really easy to make a celestial one. Yeah. Six gumballs? <clears throat> yeah. Who would pick six gumballs? Shout out Ryan Little? No, sadly. Yeah, no? He was not, he was not involved in season two. Really? I think yeah. that's because he was working on... The other what stuff. If, what if season two. Yeah. Well, we know that's because he was working on What If Season 2 because he created a character. Yeah. They gave a breakdown of that season coming up. Yeah. Um, if you want to, not here, we'll do it probably later yeah. on the other show. All right. The other day we watched For Richer or Poorer. I haven't Dude, seen it. I haven't show. seen that movie in a, in a while. Wait, is that the Tim Allen, Kirstie Allen movie? Sure is. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Jacob Yoder. Yoder. What a what a solid movie. Like, really good. They don't I I feel like comedies aren't made like that anymore. What was so good about it? I think it was just the simplistic storytelling. It was their life gets turned upside down, they peace out, shit happens, they hide out. They learn some life lessons, and then they atone for for their issues, and then they they go back to the life. Spoilers. They go back to the life, better people. Yeah. yeah. It'd be nicer if they just went back to life and learned nothing. Yeah, I think that's what you expect <clears throat> uh, at a certain point towards the end. But it, it's good. It was good. It actually, it made me come up with a question for the weekend because of a certain character being in there, or actor being in there. I have a question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text it to you. I think it's a good question. Okay. We do have to do it where everybody throws in a question. That would be nice. That would be nice. I also watched today the 2019 Hellboy, finally. Oh, finally. I gotta say, I didn't think I was gonna like it. Mm-hmm. I did enjoy it, Tamesies. and I think I think he does a good enough job that like I didn't miss Perlman that much. Yeah, that's the kick in the ass about that one. It's not that he does a bad job; it's that they started from scratch when everyone would really like to see a finale to the other one. Right. So there's a bit of animosity toward what Harbor and them were doing, but you can't hold it which, against them. Which was unfortunate, because it was yeah. really good. Like, they, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the story they were telling, Winston from fucking John Wick being Professor Broom. Oh, yeah, Lovejoy. Yeah. Like... That's good shit. It was, it was good all around. I liked uh, the fact that they were able to keep it more comics accurate in this portrayal. In some ways, but not in others. Like, they really go for the hard R, and the comics aren't that vulgar or violent. The, uh, they can get pretty bloody. They get a bit bloody, but not on the same level that they were. They're going for straight up gore. And I really liked the, the creature designs. Baba Yaga was a nice, twisted, uh, scary stories yeah. type of design. Yeah. Really and enjoyed the, uh, the pig dude. Yeah. And bringing in the fairy lore. Uh, that was... Bravo. Yeah. Upset. You can tell a lot of those elements <clears throat> is what Mignola wanted to do in the third Del Toro one. Yeah. But there's like, no, we're not going down that road. And well, we it's have because this story to tell. Guillermo has, like, a gajillion films on his fucking plate. Uh, then, last week, the day it dropped, the wife and I watched the live-action Little Mermaid. Oh, and with a bang, huh? Whew. So, Joe, uh-huh. 
You were mentioning that you think the CG for the upcoming Aquaman 2 looked pretty shit, right? Yeah. I uh, want you to revisit this conversation next week after you watch 10 minutes. All you okay. need is 10 minutes of The Little Mermaid. <clears throat> because I'll take 110 minutes of the Doomsday CGI from BVS Uh-oh. over the horse shit that Disney tries to pull off in this fucking movie. That bad. Or <clears throat> We both know how I feel about the Zack Snyder stuff. Mm-hmm. Well yeah. documented. Love it. I, I'm serious when I say that the Doomsday fight looks better than, than 90% of the underwater Oof. shit. Like, I saw a lot of, like, the the making of stills, and, like, she's basically CGI. She's not basically CGI. She is. She is CGI. Like, everything but the face? No, 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 see, see, no, Mike, no. Uh, there's, there's a point. <clears throat> a good two minutes. Uh, during the searching of the shipwreck, where, you know, Jaws pops up, uh, where... Where her body is moving, but you can see almost digitally where they were supposed to like animate the face, but it's stuck. They did mannequin face and tried to hide it. Was it far away? And they thought we can just no. It was a close up. Yeah. Uh... And it was almost glitchy. Really? How big, Wait, how big, big was this movie's budget? All the money. Absurd. Disney absurd. Like, I'll tell you that whatever you saw in the trailer... Two fifty, dollars And you were like, wow, this looks pretty good. Was just the Under the Sea sequence. So that's where they spent all the money. All the money went to that sequence. So that it's sequence, not like... That sequence, fucking gorgeous. Like, even the Kiss the Girl falls apart. No, no, no. See, that's that's. I was going to get into that. However, anything above water, okay. fine. Fine. Right. Perfectly fine. So the first so, act is all shit. Pretty much. So, like, I liked, like, if we're going to go with the Disney live action remakes, I liked Beauty and the Beast. But I could see they Love. spent most of the money on the Be Our Guest scene. Love Beauty and the Beast. The CGI in that is better than CGI in this. I, I like the CGI in Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job. The, like, the situation itself doesn't dictate as much, and it's not as tricky a situation. Yes, it does. It's okay. all inanimate objects. Okay, but the, how much of that is in the movie? What? In the live action? You have not watched the live action Beauty I'm not movie? watching. I'm done with the live action show. Oh. The, a lot. There's a lot of it. Yeah, a whole lot. All the I time. have no reason to watch these fucking mm-hmm. movies again. Oh, we added a new dance scene or something. It's all the time. I ended at Aladdin. I've seen if, this movie before. If nothing more, watch the Be Our Guest scene just to hear you and McGregor saying Be Our Guest. Yeah, he did a really good job. Very good job. Cool. Yeah. Like, I can do great. a good job, too. The Jungle Book was good. It was fine. Mm-hmm. Which one? There's seven of them. The live action one. Bill Murray, Christopher Walken. No, the Favreau one. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Fast. It was all right. It was okay. It's all right. They completely lost me after Lion King. Live action. I did not even, like Lion King. Even Lion King looks better than. Lion King looked too good. Yeah. It that was very problem. natural. They also had time. And I feel like the Little Mermaid animators, not a lot of time. Probably not. There's way too many of these movies coming in. There's way... There's not enough people doing this kind of work, and they're all being fucking ridden like plow horses. Yeah. It is... It's not good. It's why they're forming these. It's not good. There's no demand for a Little Mermaid remake. You're, You're essentially making a cartoon movie with someone else's likeness and shitty looking undersea creatures. Now, I will give it this. Everybody acts their ass off. Everybody's really good at the role they're playing. <clears throat> it's nice they give Prince Eric an actual story. He's just not, okay. you know, Prince Eric. He's pretty. Yeah. He's got a fun story. 
you know, they, <clears throat> they, everything is good about it with the exception of how it looks in the water. Okay. Aquafina, even as a bird, steals the, sh- the show like she do. There's a sequence in, with, in which her and David Diggs get to sing together. Oh. Rap. It's great. You and your music. Disney rap, huh? Huh? Disney rap, huh? Well, yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy. The, the Rock Disney rapped. He killed it. Yeah. Mm. I, I forgot. The, I do have one other thing that I watched, and I'll wait till this is finished. So, like, if you run out of things to watch and, like, you want to give it a look, go for it. Like, I, I could see where they were headed, but my god. Were it not for the subpar CGI, it would be stellar. Oh yeah, it would be That's great. Right. It would be great. One massive sticking point. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> but hey, like I said, I have no need for these remakes. It's just not my deal. Joey does. Joe, you said one more thing before we sign off on this episode? Yeah. Uh, so, on my 80s kick, I was stumbling on uh, The Max, and I watched The Pee Wee Herman Show, his HBO special. That's on there, is it? Yes, it is. With uh, another RIP, with, you know, besides Paul Rubens, Phil Hartman, who co-wrote it with him. He co-wrote uh, the movie. He did. He did. And th- this HBO special... Warner Brothers went, it was a good special. Here's a budget for a movie. Do what you want. That's kind of what happened. And Hire that guy with the weird hair. Yeah, and I forgot how kind of a, he, adult humor the Pee Wee Herman show was. Yeah. <laughs> in the first, boy. In the then, first five minutes, he does the, the shoe mirrors with the, the girl's dress. Uh, Miss Yvonne dress basically falling off and, but it was funny don't forget this is the man who got caught jerking off in a theater yeah yeah no judgment but he's a dirty boy then they took that show and toned it down a lot for kids yes yes they did yeah a lot. but he had that energy that he, he did that opens it up gets the bag and does look at this bag look at this bag I'm just gonna do funny things just gonna do funny things and he just he had it yeah, R.I.P. Paul Rubens. Yeah. It's still funny. I have one more thing, too. I changed my mind. <laughs> okay. I started McGruber on the Peacocks. Yeah. And, dude, it, that's the show that this city needs. <laughs> it's so funny. Will Forte kills it. I didn't finish it yet. I'm, like, halfway through. So, so good. Did you guys watch it? No. I actually, I'm gonna laugh. I actually, I'm gonna laugh and just know how I would behave if I was a special agent. That's it. I completely forgot they even made it, bro. So good. Is it getting a second season? No, I, I don't think so. All right, well, that's a show. Yeah. If Kyle were here, he'd tell you all the things he does. So I'm not gonna. And then instead I say, fuck your face. Jeez. And then I say, stop being a worthless poor and go to nerdities.myspreadshop.com and order stuff. Also go to can'tstoptheroadrop.myspreadshop.com and order those Disney shirts. It's Halloween ones dropping hopefully by the end of the week. It's one up of, there. It's one, of them, there. one of them is ready, but I want both of them at the same time to launch. I, I put two in there. You have to look at them. The one with more stuff going on okay. is the keeper. Or I'll just go in there later and delete the crap one. That's or right. the less interesting one. Whatever you want. Bye. Then I say, cram your cram holes with some sinful creations by Justin.com. Now featuring vegan and gluten-free options. Because i pretending to care about you people. So woke. So give me money. C-I-N-N-F-U-L, creationsbyjustin.com. 
Next week, pours, we're going live on the YouTubes. You can watch us at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, right, Joe? Yep, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nerdy, nerdities. <clears throat> YouTube.com slash nerdities. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to get notified when new content is coming. Hit that bell to get notified when the live show will be uh, dropping. You'll get a notification say, hey, Nerdities is live. Tune in now. Interact with us. Give us money. Eh? They can we finally <laughs> give us money. We do have new stuff coming. Nerd ETs is coming to YouTube. What is Nerd ETs, Joe? Pleasure. You kidding, Joe? It's not breathing hard. Where are you at in that? I am currently <clears throat> adding effects. Okay. That's where. What is that, yeah. what is Nerd ETs, Joe? Nerd e- ETs is where we take a nostalgic food, and Justin will make it, and then make it better. Are you saying it's a Nerd ETs cooking show? Yes, it is. What? Learn how to cook, and then learn how to make it better. Yeah. Win, win, win. Delicious. <clears throat> Episodes one not and two. Not very nutritious, but tastes great. <laughs> not episodes one and two, no. Oh, dude, that's a good. That's a good little uh, quote right there. Delicious, but not too nutritious. Nerd eaties. I'm gonna. Stuff in it, but I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give the pores a little little teaser for what episodes three and four are gonna have. Uh, episodes episode three is going to feature a beverage. Uh, I'm Camara. Yeah. A spooktacular beverage. Oh, theme to the holidays. Hmm. Is yeah. it a fuzzy tauntaun? It's not a fuzzy tauntaun. It's because, a fuzzy anus? Because we didn't have fuzzy tauntauns as children. But we did have a delicious concoction that may or may not have been an unhealthy color of, a, of green. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, my grandmother used to spin tails in a spectral locomotive <laughs> living by the farmhouse. Uh, episode four is going to feature one of the greatest ice cream concoctions of our childhoods. So Brother. good that you Brother. might smack someone in the back or the head with a steel chair to get one. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna want to eat these things raw. Yeah. Katie. Let me tell you, it's delicious. What you gonna do, brother, when we film this and put it online for you? And if you want to give us a bigger budget for these, write us at nerdities at gmail dot com. We'll croon, we'll swoon, we'll talk about your product and or business. Yeah. Back to that. Do anything for money. Yep. Pension. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I would do as long anything. as it's legal. In some states. In some states. <laughs> I would do anything for money. Who Is that a hand in the back? I thought he was about to go on a, on a uh, little run of some meatloaf. I was going to join him. Maybe not. Sorry. Time. Go ahead, Mike. Huh? <laughs> you guys the Nerdy's crew. We're idiotic and poorly thought of. I don't worry. Next week's will be far more insulting. Bye. And why should I care? Mm, drop.